This is a rarity. Steve Cordex, Amazing Contact. You know, I never thought too much of this game. I never played it. You don't really think much as it is anyway. No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I just we just never had one. I think we had one years ago. We have a back glass in the bathroom. No, I think we sold it. I think somebody somebody bought that. I don't know. Do we have the back glass? Let's look. Well, Frank, you're wrong. What's in the bathroom is close encounters of the third kind. And there's a play field. And the contact is actually right here. So that's our contact. And you can see this has got a lot of wear in it. But, boy, doesn't it look nice? Isn't that neat the way the colors flash and light it up? With the different strips, really sharp. At least it wasn't in the bathroom. But they're all the same way. The back glass, they, they peel. This was one of the games that was sold uh, in our 11 game package. And it's so rare and so neat, I had to make a video of it. Now, I got some really neat information off of the IMPD.org. IPDB. What did I say? IMDB. Oh, that's International Movie Database. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this, move, this is based on the Jodie Foster movie, Contact. I think the movie is based on the game, since we're about 40 years apart. No, 30. I have this clip. You can hear I am okay to go. Eighty percent. All vibration and G levels are in the green. Control, if you're reading me, I am okay to go. Okay to go. Eighty-five percent. Oh, Barrington, she's there. Okay to go. She says she's okay to go. I'm okay to go. I'm okay to go. I'm okay to go. I am okay to go. <laughs> Please go. That was a great movie. Uh, let me tell you something. It's Jodie Foster's best movie. It's the best movie she's ever done. Wait a minute. I thought you just said you were going to go. Why are you still here? I am okay to go. See, I can keep running that clip over and over, Frank. Sure, the more you run it, the more thumbs down you're going to get. Oh, no! Gonna... Oh, they drive me nuts. Well, that's good, because you drive us nuts. Well, I picture the people giving the thumbs down. They're, they're either naked or sitting in their underwear in their parents' Well, of basement. course you always think about men being naked. But that's oh! It could be a beautiful woman, too. <laughs> well, who used to be a guy. Frank. All right, listen. Let me tell you about this game. I bought this at one of the White House or White Rose Game Room shows. The White House, White House game room. Rose, IMPD, actually, IMPD. I actually have footage. Look at this. Here's a contact. Have you ever played this? I have never seen some before. What's your favorite pinball machine? Twilight Zone. Okay. I like my Williams. Now I have a question. Like yeah. yeah, another Two. one. Two. Look, do you have. Oh, the doorbell. special doorbell, doorbell system? Yes. The doorbell mod. What is that? Credit button. Oh. That is a fancy Yes, this is a credit button. It's a really clever way of putting credits on your game. Because this game didn't have a free play mode. It's like old school mine. This actually don't look like it's in bad condition. No. It's very nice. Is it a rare game? Yes. 200. Take it. This was designed by Steve Corden. Now this man talked me into buying contact. I can't resist. So it's officially sold. And I, all I ask him, he's got to roll it out to my van. Thank you, sir. He's paid in full. Paid in full. And look, if somebody buys the contact, I'll make a video on it. I can't resist. Very rare game, folks. It is. So this is it. Nobody email me. Nobody seemed at all interested in buying this, and I don't know why. But I can promise you this: when I show you this video, there's going to be a whole bunch of people looking for this game, and there's not many. 
because as I started to mention before, you rudely interrupted me, young man. Mm -hmm. We only made 2,502 of these. That's it. This odd, wide-body game, and apparently 1,485 of them stayed in the United States, and about 1,000 were shipped overseas. How many are left? Between May and November of 1978, they were selling them. And they even actually had the cost. The cost was $1,335 to buy one. That website has it all. There you go. Well, at first glance, because this is the early computer, this is the System 3, the only thing the System 3 computer could do was blink that bulb and the game over. That's it. And then it can flash up the high score to date when it pops up. That's it. No action on the play field. But at least it had some of the lights lit on the play field. They stayed on. But it really does need that, that multicolor look, that beautiful look of everything flashing. The advertising flyer, as a matter of fact, I happen to have it here. You see? The dual action flipper. This is really neat, but they did something extra with this. You see, the inside ones flip first, then the outside ones. But each flipper, which is so amazing, each flipper, I'm going to show you, has an end of stroke switch on it, of course, and then your outside, these are your sound contacts. So each flipper can make a sound. Like space invaders. Right. See? And this predates Space Invaders. Frank, I think this is the first. I think this is the first game they put an extra set of switches and it's protected by the weight. See, they protect the high voltage. This is the 30, 40 volt line and this is the 5 volt line by that weight spacer. And when the flipper flips, the inside flippers make their own sound and the outside flippers make their own sound. It, it's a first. It's definitely... I can't think of any other game. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this game was shopped electronically. So the soundboard has all new capacitors. We reflued silver solder. Uh, we have the cash pan in there. Oh, my quarter! Wait a minute. Good. Still good. You always check that. Oh dear, another thumbs down. You have to put everything in your mouth, don't you? And I mean everything. Everything goes in my mouth, Frank. I know, that's Kurt. I'll tell you all about it. Kurt! Actually, he went out last night with his girlfriend, and this is what happened. Whatever they were doing, you haven't done in 20 years. They were drinking. Either way. It doesn't drink. Doesn't drink. All right, I'm going to show you back here. Okay. It uses the same display system. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. If one of these satellite displays shorts, the glass inside shorts, it, the, it will take out these resistors and then all the other light, the other two in the circuit, these two are together, these two are together. So if that segment shorted out, it would blow up the resistor here and then the segment here would also be out and possibly this one. I'm not sure which glass this one's tied into. This one's tied into either these two or these two. So you have to get rid of the offending display by throwing it in the trash and then changing the resistor or you and you're good to go. Or sell it on. I wouldn't. I don't sell defective stuff unless I mention it. Now look, this is unique. The original paperwork. This is Williams. I call this the nightmare programming. Unbelievably complicated nonsense to set it up for a five ball instead of three ball. It is a mess. And then they also, just in case you lost that, they glued the charts in there too. Just awful. An awful system, but God bless them, at least they tried something different. Frank burned new EPROMs for this. So we had the flipper ROMs and then the game ROM. This is the System 3 board, and we also changed all these connectors. We have the jumpers to jumper upgrade here. All this has been reserviced, Frank's button battery, where we sell them on the website, $13.99, and it has the extra blocking diode in it for good measure, so you don't blow up the house. Okay, the, the power supply has been rebuilt too. See the capacitors and reflowed, and there's new fuses. So we have bulletproofed the electronics. We have not 
done anything to the play field, but yeah, I was mentioning it, that the White Rose Game Room Show, uh, I bought it, the man we bought it from had changed all of these rubbers. That's something, so we had put all the rub brand new rubbers in the machine. I think, Frank, we should at least show you, you've been waiting all this time to see how this puppy plays. This will program it. Oh, it had a doorbell button switch on it. So we put it back, back on the point up so it starts. Now, there's three different kinds of bonuses in this game. White, yellow, and green. Your white, your yellow, and your green. Steve has laid this out as clear as can be, and he has packed this thing with stuff. It's just amazing how much stuff. And also spelling contact. The letters are spread out throughout the That's play field. That's what you want here, con. Look at all the ways you can earn it. This advances your weight, okay? This loop here advances your green, okay? See right here, you advance your contact, okay? See right here? And you spot a light on top of that. See, so in other words, see when it's on white? You spot your white, and then you advance contact. So when that moves, I'm gonna see what makes that change. Well, well, this one here changes, okay? It changes your center. Now, if you hit the swinging target, you'll get whatever this is. Look at the, Frank, I don't even know where to start. There's so much stuff on this. So this, if you had, if you hit the target, you would have spotted the C for contact, but you already have that, but it moved it to scores yellow. So let, let's do the yellow. Here, here's yellow, now watch. Okay, so we got the 5,000 on that. This would spawn, uh, see there's two there, so I'm gonna get two. Ah, but advance is yellow. Now it's 10,000, look at that, okay? Score is yellow, so I'll get my 10,000. Now I score my green, or advance my green. See, I'm up to 10, look at that. Okay, your loop shot. We'll score our green value, so I'll get 10,000. This way. Got it twice. Isn't that a nice loop shot, Frank? And you see this pop bumper because it pop powers into it. You have a really good chance it'll pop back up through the same loop. So your up post, Frank. Look at that. It was up earlier. Right There's your up post. But this will bring it down. Up post. Good grief, Stephen. God bless him. Why people didn't didn't know about this game, Frank? It's, it's so very sad. Now look. Now let me show you the double flippers. Look. You press the button a little bit. Okay. You press it a little more. Do you hear the different sounds? Not neat. So keep it down low so you don't lose the ball. A light touch is all that's needed. I use my upper one. I, this really allows you to do some really good aiming. Now you hope. It, yep, see, look at that. Now, the new owner of this machine will definitely have to rebuild these flippers with plunges and links, which you can get from. Pinball resource, and these flippers will be super powerful. Also, when you do a flipper rebuild, you change the plunger link, that's a must. You change the coil sleeve, that's a must. You change the end of stroke switch, that's a must. Then you regap the end of stroke switches so you get maximum power without blowing the coil out. That's simple, isn't it? Now, making the four drop targets, scores are way faster. 5,000 each time, Frank. We should we should have made that up. Or I'll post up again. It could stay there forever unless you're clumsy enough to have this flipped open to get it to lose your ball. Frank, do you think I'd ever be that clumsy? No, I don't think so. You show everything on it, Frank. What do you think? You too. You much. We're up to our. Oh, listen, right over here. Okay. 
uh, making number three, see look, making contact lights stars one to five. So every time you spell contact, you add another star. Now, when you get up to three, you light the top left rollover lane here. So let's spell contact. Let's do it. Did we get all contact yet? Are we missing it? No, no, it's down here. Good. Now we're up to three. Extra bowling. Huh. I wonder if it makes a special sound. No, no extra sound, but it did like this light. We made sure all the computer controlled lights were working. And uh a little bit more love, a little bit of dependable I, I game. Wonder. I wish somebody had ordered this. Somebody uh, did order it. No, for us to put the LEDs in. We actually had this. What did we have this at? It was our lowest price key, $19.99. Uh, to run this through the shop, you, we can't charge any less. I mean, if you look, we just did the LED setup on this one. In fact, he never came. He was supposed to come today to get it. He just wanted us to do the surface with the LEDs and all the extras. I mean, the appeal of the game is just so much more dramatic when you put these LEDs in front. Well, what do you think of Steve's masterpiece? It really is. I did, I saw one. It was at the Pen Expo, I think. And it wasn't working. The logic board. By the way, System 3 games, you know what killed most of them? The batteries. And nobody wanted to fix the old System 3 boards. However, we just sold a bunch of them on eBay. The problem is they actually clean up pretty well. Clean they up. do. I fixed this one and I've cleaned up a few other ones. Frank did a nice job on that board. He's busy doing boards. Plus I modified that one to do a... Uh, actually, come over here. Let me show a you. A single something. game room. We're working on a Tommy. And... This is this board, not as much. The older right. boards, yes. Now, see, now look, the batteries leaked. The guy sent us in for an overhaul. You're going to be seeing this game soon. But see all the, the corrosion. Now, what happened is it dripped down here, okay? And it got under these chips. It got under this socket. So this is a new socket. Okay, it dripped down here. And you see these transistors? These are new. See, it, it, it just seemed to get in here. And we had to change these parts. And then these connectors were toast. So we had to change these two connectors. So Chris... Toast. Always thinking of food, aren't you? I love toast. So we're busy. We still haven't reheated it. Uh, the uh, So these are these are freshly heated. But we have to go around and completely service the board. And of course this is going to get a button cell. There'll be never battery damage again. Frank, look at this beautiful thing. Oh my goodness. Woo! This one is like new, absolutely gorgeous. Diamond plate field, none of the artwork has faded. As a matter of fact, Stephen hasn't touched it. I don't think he's touched No, he hasn't touched it yet. No, he Because the back leg has to be done still. But uh, it's beautiful. And look, we're wiring in our Supo flash lamps. I just came up with that new name. <laughs> Oh, another thumbs down. Frank, nobody likes all the things I do. <laughs> God, they hate me. No argument there. <laughs> well, what do you think, Whoa. guys? I could have been Thank killed. Thank you for watching the gun. Picture tubes. <gasps> picture tubes. Frank, i got to show you something. Come on out here. You're not showing me. I've already seen them. Take the trash out there. I can just trash. Oh, here's the top. For the blind and the illiterate, blind and illiterate viewers. Oh, blind and dumb! I can't Look, read Tommy on there. took everything out of this Tron so we could clean it properly. Somebody bought it. We're going to turn this into a... Uh, Milky cave. No, a... Um, what do you call it? A, um, Just kidding. Capcom bowling. Capcom Just kidding. There's the rest of it. That's going to be out on the track soon. All new ah. Capcom bowling stuff going on. Capcom bowling. Frank. You make it sound like I, I convert games right and left. You do. We take a perfectly good Tron, home use only Tron, make it into a Capcom bowling or... Now, let me show you. We just put these tubes out. Some creepy recycler smashed the necks to take the yokes and didn't take the rest of them. Look at that. Creeps. Sleaze ball. Sleaze balls. 
creeps. Take the whole thing. We put it, give it, it to you for the free. Whole thing. Take the whole thing. We go through tubes of go go. See, we're not going to sell a customer a game that has this on it. Well, there's burning. Might have been a week. Burning. Might have been a week too. I don't remember. Oh, maybe that was missing a color. See, these tubes are are dying. Missile command. Missile oh, yeah. command. See, look. Look at the missile command burning. My gosh. The tube, this one actually worked, but it's just too horrific. That was in the Capcom bowling. We call it the Crapcom bowling. <sighs> All right, time to wrap it up. Oh, I know, I know. Guess what? So there's nobody the swallows, here. The swallows are nesting again. Well, then leave them We've alone. Been flying in. We have the next set of babies come coming. We've been there for years. You've been watching my videos religiously. You have. Are we talking you? about naked men in their mom's basements? You know what? Before I give this game back to this guy, I'm going to steal that ball off the top. Frank, guess what? A good candidate for your battery board. The motor is yeah, that shot. Battery board will fix that. Right I mean, up. I mean, you're, I mean, you're oh, God, <laughs> Come on! Is this your first day? No, no, no. Listen, listen. We're actually. Do this was all scripted. Yeah, no, it was I not. I told Frank that no. I'm going to boob up the battery board thing, and you'll correct me. The motor is shot. You boob everything. And now, see this this thing? This was okay in its day, but Frank has designed a wonderful new board that I'll puts this to shame. And it'll, yes, and we'll show you how you can adjust it to get your Tommy exactly right. And it comes with a new servo. And you get a motor with it. Complete solution, one-stop shopping. What is it, 80 bucks or 85 something? 85 plus 85. tax free. Right. Just three bucks to ship it. But that'll solve all your Tommy problems. And listen, if you need the motor, the servo motor. It comes with it. Oh, yeah, but you have to use your servo motor with your board. It's best to do it that way because they're yes. matched up. Right. So... But, by the pack. so here's the best part of that. Yes. When I'm long gone, there's going to be these tiny little boards with my name on them that proves that I existed. Yes, but... That's all a little bit. Frank, right. what about all my videos? Your videos will be better. People will be watching my videos for and after. I have decided to retire. You'll be the first to hear this. Um, I'm going to retire on my birthday, October 14th. And it'll be 2053. I want to be a hundred years old. <sighs> I'm going to be retiring tonight at 11 o'clock because that's when my $535 million Powerball ticket's going to hit. If we win, you will win. Videos I'm going to will win. end. I will buy this place for a dollar. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'll sell it to you for a dollar. <laughs> Actually, you know what I would do? I would, op I would open up a pinball place in the gun range. I'd give them brand new Wazes, Hobbits, dialed in. I'd sell them for $200 each. And for every one you bought, you got a free Corvette. And then I would devalue this place so much it'd be worth about a dollar. Nobody would buy me, Frank. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to buy a contact if you see it? Are you? I'm going to shoot one ball and then we're done. Wasn't it supposed to have Jodie Foster's voice in it? Then we could I put a tape recorder in the bottom. It's supposed to have Jodie Foster's voice in it. Well, I got the extra voice. The... Once these flippers are rebuilt, that's this man's assignment. It's in very, very nice shape. A little bit of love, it'll be wonderful. It will. It will. Right down the toilet. I guess that's the disadvantage. Not having Mr. Post up. Now look, do you see? Oh, oh, I didn't show you that. See, when your ball goes down, you only get one of these three. So I'll get thirty thousand when I go down. Now what? What? It, now there's there's an example of a great idea, just to move that around. You got all these other things that move the feature. Around. This, see, see, stuff really packed this full of stuff. For 1978. We were definitely a pioneer in the industry. Listen, I do have some interesting footage of Steve. Uh, um, from a 
Expo from 1990 that I'll be sharing with you. Oh look, my specials lit. Frank, I got the specials lit. And they alternate. See, they do alternate. That would be a setting in the nightmare computer setting, but watch. <laughs> Frank, we're... I fit it in, Frank, I fit it in. The music tells me we're done. Good night.